Hi guys, all right, it's reading time. So you're just going to need your reading workbook today. So just your reading workbook, all right? Don't open it to anything. We're gonna go over some things first and then we're gonna work in our workbook. So today we're gonna to talk about the er sound. Everybody say er, good, okay? So the er sound looks like this, okay? The U with that little carrot on top and the R. Okay, so er, so it's control. The r is controlling that u sound. It's not allowing it to say the u sound. Here are the ways that you can see it spelled. So if you see er in a word, a lot of times it's going to say er. Okay, um, that's a that's the most popular spelling for the er sound is er. Then we also have ir. We have ur, ear, and or. And OR normally says OR, but in some words, it can say ER, all right? It's not a very popular one. Um, ER is much more popular for the ER sound. There's no way to tell how to spell the ER sound, so you kind of have to just know how it is spelled. Um, and it doesn't, you, so if you say a word, you're not going to know if the er sound is er, ir, ur, ear, or or unless you know it for sure. Okay, so sometimes these can get very tricky because you might hear the er sound and you might automatically think er, but it's not always er. So what you might have to do is write the word down with whatever you think the spelling is and see if it looks right. Sometimes we have to look it up in the dictionary. We just not sure, you're just not sure. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at some of these words. So we have ER and, and say them with me. Her, herd, germ, fern, perch. You're the ER in the ER. How about the IR, IR words? 30, bird, shirt, third. You are purse, burn, hurt, Purple, hear that er sound in there? E-A-R, heard, search, earth, okay? And then O-R, word, work, worm, all right? So they are all the E-R, I-R, U-R, E-A-R, O-R. They all say er, all right? All right, so that's the er sound. So let's open up to page 143. Page 143, this page over here has a nice pot at the bottom there, cooking away. All right, so in each sentence below, you will find a word, oop, there's that er sound, with the er sound. Circle that word and underline the letters that stand for the er sound. All right, let's do a couple of these together, then I'm going to have you pause the video. The ba My baby cousin just got her first tooth. Oh, wait, let me read that again, because that's not her. My baby cousin just got his first tooth. Sorry about that. All right, so where do you hear the er sound? In first, good, so circle first. What am I going to underline? I-R, excellent. Okay, is that the only one? It looks like it. Good job. Number two, the car swerved to miss the hole in the road. Okay, where's the er sound? In swerved, very good, circle it. And what am I gonna underline? ER, good job. Let's do number three. Each person who came received a free book. Where is that ER sound? In person, perfect, circle person. And what am I gonna underline? ER, excellent. Number four, Sasha plays third base on our softball team. Where is that ER sound? Excellent, third, circle third, and what am I gonna underline? I-R. All right, I want you to pause the video and do five through 10. Okay, guys, you should have five through 10 finish. Number five, Lee's new skirt is black and red. Skirt, shirt should be circled, oh boy, and I-R should be underlined. Number six. Ms. Sanchez gave the class a stern look. Stern should be circled and ER should be underlined. Number seven, I was careful not to burn myself on the hot stove. Burn should be circled, UR should be underlined. Number eight, 
That baseball card is worth much more than I paid for it. Worth, good, O-R should be circled. Number nine, a strange car turned into the driveway. Turned should be circled, U-R should be underlined. And number 10, the panting dog was very thirsty. Good, thirsty should be circled and I-R should be underlined. Good job, guys. All right, let's turn to page 147. Page 147. Okay, should look like this with a nice little squirrely there. All right, read each question. Circle the words in each question that have the letter combinations E-R, I-R, U-R, E-A-R, and O-R. Then circle the word that answers that question. Okay, so we got to find the words in the question and then circle the answer. Which animal has fur and searches for nuts? A spider, an alligator, or a squirrel? All right, so before we answer the question, let's circle our words. So which words in our question have the er sound? Fur, excellent, and searches. So they should be Circled, yes, circle them. All right, now let's answer the question. So which animal has fur and searches for nuts? A squirrel, so under or circle squirrel. Number two, who works to help people feel healthy? An actor, a nurse, a tailor. So let's circle our words in our question first. So works should be circled. Anything else? Nope. And then what answers the question? A nurse, good job. Okay, number three. What is less than 32? 35, 31, 38. All right, what should we circle in our question? 32, excellent. So what is less than 32? 31, so circle 31. Okay, number four. Which animal might live beneath a fern and crawl through the dirt? A blackbird, an earthworm, a tiger. All right, let's circle our words first. So which animal might live beneath a fern and crawl through the dirt? Fern and dirt, excellent. And what's our answer? An earthworm, good job. Number five, which word names a person who sails on the sea? Learner, tractor, or sailor? All right, let's, what, what are we gonna circle first? Okay, word, excellent, and person. And what answers the question? Sailor, good job. Number six, which could help you survive a cold night outside in early January? Doing a crossword puzzle, burning wood, watching birds. So let's circle our words in our question first. Survive, excellent, and early. Um, and which could help you survive a cold night outside in early January? Burning wood, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's not put that away. Just put it to the side for now. And we're going to talk about adjectives that compare. Now, this is a little different than what we talked about before. When we talked about adjectives that compare, we were adding ER and EST to our adjectives. So we would add ER if I was comparing two things like larger or taller or smaller. And we were adding EST if I was comparing three or more things, like largest or sunniest or tiniest. So now we're going to talk about adjectives that compare three or more things, but they have three or more syllables, okay? All right, so three or more syllables, all right? we're going to use more or most to compare. So if I'm gonna compare um, an adjective and it has three or more syllables, I'm going, to add, I'm going to say more before my adjective or most. I'm not going to use ER or EST. So more gets used when I compare two things and most gets used when I compare three or more things. So let's take a look here. Wonderful. So I'm not going to say wonderfuler or wonderfulest. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to say more wonderful or most wonderful when I say my sentence. And beautiful, same thing. 
Beautiful has three syllables, so I need to say more beautiful or most beautiful. Remember, more is used when we're comparing two and most when we're comparing three or more. Some other words, considerate, more considerate, most considerate. Amazing, more amazing, most amazing. Exciting, more exciting, most exciting. Delicious, more delicious, most delicious. Okay, so these are just some of the words um, that you would use more and most with. There's a lot others, um, but the general word is if you have a syllable, or a, sorry, an adjective more that has three or more syllables, you're going to use more or most. Okay, so let's turn to page 148 in our workbook. Page 104, whoa, 148. Okay, looks like this, and it has a raccoon on the picture. Okay. All right. I'm going to erase my board because I'm going to do some of these with you if I can find my eraser or not. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the top of page 148. Okay. Write the form of each adjective that compares two things. Then write the form that compares three or more things. All right. So they're going to either use ER or EST, or you're going to use more and most, all right? So, playful. Am I going to say playfuler or playfulist, or am I going to say more playful and most playful? More playful and most playful makes sense. Now, I know this is tricky, um, and I know that playful only has two syllables, but playfuler and playfulist does not make sense. So we are going to say more playful and most playful. So on line number one, you're going to write more playful, comma, most playful. So this one does not fit the rule. Remember we've always talked about sometimes things just don't fit the rule. Yeah, so this is one of them. All right, now... Number two, funny. Would I say funnier and funniest, or would I say more funny and most funny? Funnier and funniest, good. Now, be careful of the spelling. You write it down first, and then you'll see if it, it's correct. So funnier, comma, funniest. Did you change your uh, Y to an I? I hope so, right? If not, you better fix it. All right. Number three, afraid. Would I say afraider and afraidist or more afraid and most afraid? Yeah, more afraid and most afraid because afraider and afraidist does not make sense. I know afraid only has two syllables. They always do this to you. Okay, so this is another one that does not follow the rule. Oops, and I just was not thinking. So more afraid and most afraid. More afraid, comma, most afraid. And I know they don't leave you a lot of space to write, so you're going to have to write kind of small. So more afraid, most afraid. If I'm going too fast, just stop. Important. Am I going to say importanter and importantist or more important, most important? Yeah, more and most, right? So number four, more important, comma, most important. More important, most important. All right, number five, high. Am I going to say higher and highest or most high, most, or more high, most high? Higher and highest, good. Number five, higher, comma, highest. Okay, and number six, exciting. Exciting-er, exciting-est, or more exciting, most exciting. More exciting, most exciting, good job. So more exciting. comma, most exciting. 
Okay, so more exciting, most exciting. Okay, if you need to take, if you need to pause, pause the video. All right, now let's take a look at numbers seven through 10. We have to rewrite each sentence correctly. All right, so let me erase my board. You take a look at that first one and see if you can figure out what's wrong. All right, so number seven, the raccoon was small than the fox. What's wrong in there? Yeah, the word small doesn't make sense, right? If I'm going to compare two things, I'm comparing a raccoon and a fox, I'm either going to say ER or I'm going to say mo more, not most, more, okay? So would I say the raccoon is more small than the fox or would I say the raccoon it was smaller than the fox? Smaller, right? All right, so this is what I want you to do. I want you just to write the word that is incorrect. So on your paper, cross out small. Okay, so number seven, cross out small, just cross it out, and on the line, write smaller. We're not going to write the whole sentence. So just cross out small and write smaller. So we're just going to fix the mistake. Number, t number eight, today's sunset was lovely than yesterday's sunset. All right, so we have to figure out what's wrong. So what's wrong in there? Well, lovely doesn't make sense, right? And I'm comparing two things. And again, two things, I'm either going to do ER or more. So today's sunset was lovelier than yesterday's sunset, or today's sunset was more lovely than yesterday's sunset. Lovelier, very good. So cross off lovely and make sure, oops, make sure that you are spelling the word correctly, right? So we want lovelier. Did you change the Y to I? I hope so. All right, number nine. That cliff was the most steep one I have ever climbed. Hmm, what's wrong in there? Yeah, most steep doesn't sound right. So let's see. Am I going to say that cliff was the more steep one I have ever climbed? That cliff is the steepest one I have ever climbed? That cliff was the steeper one I have ever climbed. Well, I have ever climbed tells me that we're comparing all of them, okay? So that means I'm gonna either say EST or most. So that cliff was the most steep. We already said that doesn't make sense, so cross that out, and you're going to write steepest. Very good, steepest. Steepest. Okay, so cross out most steep because that doesn't make sense. All right, number 10. The river was more deeper than the stream. Hmm, that sounds funny, doesn't it? Now I'm comparing a river and a stream, so I'm either going to use ER or more. I can't use both, okay? So I'm either going to say the river was more deep than the stream or I'm going to say the river was deeper than the stream. Yeah, deeper. So cross out more deeper. And then on the line, right, deeper. You can't use EST and ER and at most and more at the same in the same sentence. You gotta pick one way or the other. So here is deeper. Okay, guys. Awesome job today. And you can put your reading book away, and we are done for today. See you later. Bye.